Okay, guys, um, what I'm going to show you today uh, is pretty cool, I think. Um, so I know we've talked about with, with animation before, we've talked about how in, in one second you generally have 30 frames of movement, okay? So uh, in, in one second of a, of a cartoon, all right, they have to draw 30 individual images. So, you know, back in the, the 40s uh, when they were doing, you know, Bugs Bunny, so they would have to draw each Bugs Bunny completely each time, um, 30, 30 times to, to, to make one second of movement. So, you know, we're using Flash at the moment, which is all digital, so you can do things like copy and paste and those tweens which, which make your character move, and it makes things a lot easier. But back then, um, yeah, a lot of work went, in, went into it. Um, actually, probably easier, I'll just... All right, so let, let me explain. So, if I have a look here... Um, here she the draws bottom. 24 drawings a second right. of the Beast, or Lumiere. But I think if an animator drew all those, it would all take... Right. So, what you saw really quickly there was... So, he was saying 24 frames a second, because movies use 24 frames a second instead of 30. Um, but essentially, yeah, they would, they would draw... They would have, like, a big tracing pad, and they would, they would draw their character... And then they would flick back and forth, like you saw with the candlestick guy. They would flick back and forth between the two to then see how their next frame's going to look, how that little bit of movement's going to work. And they would keep doing that and doing that and doing that. Um, I'll let it play, actually, to make a film while, so I, the while I chat. We'll do um, they would keep doing all of this until the they get their the animation. So you can see there, they're drawing every drawing. single frame of that entire scene is being drawn. Um, that where that guy's done, moving, where his head is, where the, where the character is. It's drawing every, every, every single frame. So it's, it's quite a lot of work. Um, but it's it, it's really, really cool. So now Flash actually allows you to do that as well. So this bit might be something that some of you want to try. Um, and it'll give you this a really detailed animation. You'll actually see that movement. Um, because we actually be, will be using, in this case, I'm going to use 24 frames to make up one second of animation. So there's a couple of things we do. First up, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this workspace. Um, go in here. Change your workspace, and I'm going to change it to Animator. Okay, so all that does is it, it changes the layout to suit animation. Okay, it's still the same program, it's just changing the layout a little bit different. Uh, and then I'm going to make a new symbol. So you know this, you know your symbols, you know how to make all this kind of stuff. And here's here's my workspace for my symbol. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this little option up here on, and it's called Onion Skin. And what Onion Skin does is it shows you the previous frame that you've drawn, okay, it shows you what it looks like, and that way that's your reference. So whereas back in the day they were using paper and going back and forth, I don't need to do that. The computer will do it for me. So let's let's use this as an example. So I'm just going to, oh, what can I do? All right, so we'll, we'll start off with a, a face here, and I'm going to give it, um, I don't know, we'll start off with a little eye, and a, a little eye there, and just a, a small little bit of a mouth, and um, a bit of a nose, okay? And that's it, pretty pretty basic, oops. Um, pretty basic there. And then I'm gonna go to my second frame. So whereas we were jumping forward, like chunks of frames, I'm gonna go to the very next frame, and I'm not gonna put in a keyframe, okay, or a normal frame, I'm gonna put in a blank frame. And there we go there. So what that does is it gives me a whole frame that's completely blank, there's nothing on there. Now if I turn this on, which is onion skin, you can see that lighter, that, that was my original drawing under there. So it's not on this frame, it's just showing what my previous frame was. So now if I start, I'm going to then, oops, it's kind of tricky to do um, standing up. I should probably get a seat actually. Um, all right. So there's that. And I can see where my original eyes were. So I might just make that one a little bit bigger, make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to just change the smile a little bit, okay, and then I'll keep my nose there, all right. Uh, and then actually, look, let's give him a little bit of hair up here. All right, and then I'm going to go to my next one and do a new blank frame, okay, so insert blank keyframe. And then again, I can see my frames below there, so the lighter it is, uh, it's again, the, the, more f the, the previous frame below that, so they, they kind of get uh, lighter as they get further away. So now I can then you know, draw this guy again. So I'm just kind of following. There's my old hair, so I'll just make it a little bit bigger now. I can see my old eyes. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I can see the old nose. Then I can see the old smile that I've put in there as well. So I'm just actually going to go back in and I'm going to start to give it a bit of an open mouth, a little bit of a dimple under there. All right. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, my next blank keyframe. All right. And same deal. I can still see all my old drawings. So I'm going to 
going to go back in, make it a bit bigger, move that over there. All right, change my eyes again, a little bit smaller. No, they're still in the same spot. Draw my face. I don't know why he's got such a big face. And change the hair. Okay, uh, and now I might actually start to give him some cheek. Okay, and then I'll do my next um, blank frame. Okay. Okay, and now we'll go follow their mouth. Okay, I've gone a bit bigger now. I might actually even show some some teeth under there. Okay. Move their dimple. Change the hair. Let's actually start giving them some eyeballs now. All right. So you can see how time consuming this is. You have to do every single frame, step by step by step by step. And I'm doing it obviously very quick. They, they had to draw far more detailed pictures. Um, with a lot, a lot more, a uh, lot more in them. I'm just doing a few. There, there's my teeth. I'll do the tongue. And then I'm just going to move these cheeks back a little bit. Okay. Do my next keyframe. All right, eyes. There we go, I'm just gonna just kind of speed this up a little bit now. So it's not gonna look anywhere as good as it should. All right, there's my hair. Now it's kind of completely changed. Draw my mouth. Okay, what I might do now is stick this tongue out. And color that in there. Okay, no, oops, that was a bit bad. Nose. Cheeks move. Okay, and we'll start to give him some moving the eyebrows. Next keyframe. We're getting there. Um, maybe I should fast forward this video for you guys at home. Okay. Eyes. Oops. Eyes. Eyeballs. Eyebrows slightly higher now. Okay. I've still got the tongue sticking out there. I've still got the teeth. I might just put a bit of spit on the end. This is inadvertently looking like a baby. Maybe that's what I'm doing. All right, and if you want, I can scrub back and forth and kind of get a rough idea of what my guy's doing as he's changing there. Um, which if I turn onion skidding off, you'll actually see that a little bit better. So I can turn the onion skid off. And you can see that starting to change. All right. Um, so we'll go back, insert another keyframe, oh, sorry, blank frame, oops, and then turn it on and skin on so we can see where we were. Um, go back to the mouth. Actually, I might just change, uh, I might move that tongue down a little bit now. Move those up. And then that hair's really flat now. And do my eyes. All right. And, and then you can keep on going. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, all right. So then if I turn off that onion skin, I go back here. I'm going to actually repeat this section here so we can see it. And then hit play. You can see my guy actually animating there, changing frame by frame. Now, I do obviously fairly big jumps between it, so it's it's not perfect. Um, I can slow that down a little bit, so you can kind of see it a bit more. Um, so if I just pause that, I'll just slow it down to, I don't know, 15 frames a second. So you can kind of see that animation, all right? So you could imagine if you were doing this with, with a character walking or moving across or, a, a, you know, a, a ball bouncing or something like that, you'll actually see those things kind of happen. So let me, let me do another example, because this is kind of... Well, I think it's kind of cool. Um, so I'll go here, do a new symbol, blank it up. All right, and let's let's do something like a uh, like a, a ball bouncing across. So I'm going to start over here. All right, my onion skin is on. All right, in this frame, I'm going to start with uh, a ball that's here. 
All right, now this will be this will take ages. All right, and then in a new frame, new blank frame. All right, I can see where that old ball is, so I can move it a little bit more, and I might start to put some of these in. And then new blank frame. All right, I can see that old ball, so I'll move it over there. Okay, new blank frame. New blank frame. Okay, so again, I can see where my previous um, frames were. So I'm going to start to make this ball kind of drop a little bit now. Now you can see I'm doing quite a big gap um, between my frames. Like you can see that the big gap there, so that's quite noticeable. But again, in animation they'll be really close together so you can just imagine how many balls they have to uh, draw in this okay blank frame and now I'm gonna make it hit the ground okay so it's hit the ground there so we might have some dust come up new blank frame A new blank frame. And new blank frame. This ball stays the same. And then we've got nothing. Alright, so if I turn the ending skin off there and play that, you'll see my ball bounce. So that kind of probably shows it a little bit better, yeah? Um, and if I put that on a loop and I hit play, there's my animation. So that is. I guess the traditional way to, to animate, look frame by frame, you draw each individual frame. So I've done it fairly, fairly quickly and not too detailed, but you can kind of see how that works. So you can actually do that in Flash. So you can, with your music video, you could make one character that does this really detailed walk cycle or these, these really detailed events like I've got there, because that's a symbol, and then I can put that into my animation. But you can see how much time that took, okay? So if that's something you want to do, maybe you can do it for your main character, or you might want to do it for... I don't know, the background or something that's it's going to have a lot of impact in there, okay? Or maybe, you know, your whole animation could have this bouncing ball and it goes through and you've got your, your different symbols in the background. So, got a lot of options. So, that's just another thing that you can do in Flash. You can actually do this, this frame by frame animation. And that's what a lot of uh, a lot of the cartoons that were coming out a few years ago uh, were using this for. They were doing these really simple animations and drawing them. And, and yeah, it's pretty impressive. So, look, we've come a long way since this, obviously. Um, and the other programs that are even easier to do, like 3D animation is super, super simple in, in how it can work. And we'll probably look at that um, next year. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's another option. So that's using onion skinning and kind of what we're doing, but you were, uh, what we've been doing before, but is we're working on every single frame. So the onion skinning is the way to see your previous frames. And, um, and there you go. So that's it. So give it a go by all means. If you have time, if you're working ahead and you want to try it out, uh, I was using the, the Wacom tablet for this example, but you can use the, the, the mouse as well and it'll still work. So it should be cool. All right. See you guys.